So the topic we're going to talk about right now is how the Palace of Wisdom is reached through the path of access. Sorry, I fucked this up. You reach wisdom by following the path of excess. What this means is whenever you want to achieve wisdom in anything in life, whether it be diet, finance, uh, just general life wisdom, you always want to take the path of excess. That means always do too much because if you don't do too much, you'll never know what is enough. I recommend as a general life principle, whatever you're gonna fucking do, whether it's being lazy or productive, happy or fucking depressed, you know, gonna do an investment or avoid investments, whatever you want to do, make sure you do it in very extreme versions because then you're going to know the limit. Really, the only problem in humans right now is that there's not enough extremism. I'm not saying, you know, go for extremism like fucking Muslims killing people, but do go for extremism in the sense that whatever you sort of want to pursue in life in that moment Make sure you pursue it to the fullest. So if you want to be a lazy fucker, just be fucking lazy. See what that does to you, okay? Because, again, it's all about misconceptions and ignorance. You know, right now you decide, okay, I'm, I guess I'm just lazy. Well, be fucking lazy. Let yourself be total in the laziness and see what that does to you. Are you happy? Are you unhappy? That way you can know the limit. Let's say that that thing is, uh, in this case, it could be, uh, again, making money. Uh, well, if your current goal is making money and, you know, just building a business, well, go and fucking build a business. Don't do it like half-stepping because you're never going to know whether you did or not. And again, going back to life is meaningless and you're going to die anyway, why the fuck not? You know, create a cool movie. One of the things that always inspired me in, you know, taking action and just, you know, living life to the fullest was that I wanted my life to be really cool. I wanted my life to be retroactively amazing where I have tons of cool stories and I can actually build, you know, create like a movie or, you know, a, an autobiography of my life and it will actually have cool shit in it. You know, you can't be like the fucking billionaire or the movie star if you don't actually have a cool life story. It's not a coincidence that almost every successful person has a really cool life story. Either it was forced upon them in extreme environments or they created it through extreme actions. So if you weren't lucky enough, and I'm saying lucky to have been born poor or in fucked up environments, you just have to create that shit if you want to see really cool extreme things in your life. Till next time.